I think this is a very interesting point of time in ELT because there's quite a substantial movement away from ways of teaching and ideas about teaching which held sway for a very long time, certainly 40 or 50 years. And I think these changes are partly inspired by big changes in the position of English in the world, new technologies, new modes of communication, and so on and so forth. So for a long time, uh, ELT has assumed that everyone is learning the language to operate in a monolingual environment, and it hasn't really taken account of students' own languages or the differences between languages or different situations in which uh, students learn. For example, most methods of teaching or ideas about teaching have been formulated as though they applied to everybody, but there are big differences among students depending on where they come from and what language they speak. So what we're seeing now, I think, is quite a, a major shift in ideas about English language teaching to recognize the fact that we're now in a world where English is more dominant, but on the other hand, we need to be more careful about people, people preserving their own identities and uh, cultural and linguistic identities. So what we're seeing now is quite a surge of, of ideas about teaching, which acknowledge that, yes, everybody in the world wants to speak English, needs to speak English, or at least a large proportion of the world's population need to speak, in, speak English. But that doesn't need to be bought at the expense of your own identity and uh, own culture. So the current movement, uh, which advocates a return to bilingual teaching, translation included in that, uh, is really, I think, very important and very appropriate for the contemporary situa situation in a globalised world.